Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a frequently asked question about SEO. And this is something that you're, if you have new clients coming on, um, usually a qualifying question that they like to ask. And that is, how long does SEO take to really take effect? So I make a change on my website or web pages. How long does it take for me to see an impact on, of those changes? It's a really hard question to answer. So you got to really think of the two different ways that digital marketers get traffic to websites on the internet. And that is through organic search, which is SEO, and paid search, which is PPC, pay-per-click, um, uh, using in a platform like Google AdWords or Bing Ads. And they're very, very different when it comes to impact. So with pay-per-click, you know, it could take you, if Google or Bing were to approve your ad in a very timely fashion, you could essentially have an impact the same day. You put in some keywords, put in some ad copy, set it up, you put in all your billing information, they approve it, and bam, impact, done. You start getting those impressions for your keywords. SEO takes a lot longer. So if you were to make changes to your website when it comes to maybe taking, yeah, when it comes to possibly changing some of your title tags, meta descriptions, um, some of the content, changing URL structures, it actually isn't something that is typically reflected in your listings even the same day that those changes are made. So usually it's you have to wait till a search engine spider to come along, go through your website again, see all these changes, and it usually takes a couple of days just for these changes to kind of sift through and actually show up on the search engine result page. But usually when the clients come to me and say, okay, Christian, how long does it take for you to have an effect on our organic search efforts with your recommendations? I like to say it takes really three months to be able to see how much of an impact my changes are made based on that implementation date. You can start seeing some trends, definitely in the first month, even more so in visibility in the second month. But with organic search and rankings, usually when you're looking at keyword rankings, you know, there's a whole, bit, whole different set of factors when it comes to is the person signed into their Google account, is there personalization going on, is it a local query, etc. Um, as well as just ranking shift. Sometimes these, I, I, you know, with a particular client of mine, we have a listing in the second position, and then you'll check it tomorrow and be in the fourth position. And there's nothing you can really do about that. You just have to chalk it up to a fluctuation when it comes to search engines sorting through and ranking um, different web pages based on that query. But the answer to this question to me is really you got to wait three months to see the total really cause and effect um, data when it comes to any of the changes that you make from SEO efforts. Now, like I said, I can definitely see some trends in the first month, even more so in the second month. Um, but whenever I'm approached with this question, I like to say, I like to give it three months to really see how things are going. Obviously, it also depends on your website, how much domain authority you have, web pages, how much page authority those web pages have, as well as competition scores based on how hard it is to rank for the keywords you're going after. Harder keywords. Um, usually tend to take longer to be able to see any type of typical result versus if you have keyword um, targets that have low competition um, and you're basically changing from zero SEO to fully you know SEO'd so to speak of a web page then you can see that change a little bit faster than that but typically I'd say three months. Again this is Christian Bullock 365 days at SEO.com and we'll see you guys tomorrow.